welcome back to Let's Try Axiom Verge. Last time we collected all the things. In fact, now we have effectively every item in the game, save the final area, and I'm pretty sure there's a couple things in the final area. Now, um, keeping in mind that though I did use some vague form of some vague form of guide to actually get the things. I'm still playing this blind and I still have no idea what I'm in for. I did manage to see as much as that the final area is not just a boss fight. But this is actually it. So we head into Torain. You look wonderful. What's this place called? Mar Uru. Okay. Oh, got some music. Ah, jeez. Okay, so by this point, they're actually expecting you to have... Oh, that's nice of him. Yeah, if you can if you can get these guys into a position then it's super cool to actually oh boy there we go wasn't leaving me alone, even at the end. This place is going higher than I was expecting. Dude, man, come on. Do I have anything that can hit him? That's not what I meant to do. I got so many weapons! Nope. Now let's just go back to this. Okay, so the goal is gonna be to do that. And then just get wrecked a little. And that's already a boss. Door. I don't want to. I saw another room on the map. And though I know little about the actual layout of the... Or little about what's actually going on in here. If memory serves, the area is mirror. There we go. The area is mirrored. It's like it's symmetrical. So, yeah, good and symmetrical. That's gonna respawn the dudes, that's gonna respawn the dudes. Gonna make me go through this crap again? Hey, get back here. Hey! Try that again.
You know, it occurs to me. Jeez, I'm gonna get wrecked just get into this room. Much less fighting a guy. Well, you're cool. I mean, I see where to hurt you, but how am I supposed to deal with... What the crap? Okay, no, I don't know how... What do you expect from me here? Other than just, like, outlasting him, you can't dodge that. There, I beat him. That was horribly unpleasant. Every now and then, like between that boss and that like B boss, this game tosses a guy at you that's like highly skill based. But like, I don't know, I don't think his design handles skill that well. Jeez, hey, that guy doesn't die. Like, his idea of making something skill based is throwing freaking everything at you so it's like impossible to dodge or like hitting you so fast it's impossible to dodge oh i gotta be able to do something to this guy That's not doing it either. Oh my goodness, fine. And like, heaven help me, he's throwing everything at you. In this, like, I understand it's the final area, but like... These guys. Okay, this is probably the place that I was thinking of. I remember hearing in my quest to figure out how to get all the items about a room with four energy bars that was apparently quite a thing. Apparently, you have to glitch a guy and follow and go in, and he will follow you into the room? And this is... Like, this, this game has a lot of really good puzzles in it. Like, a num like the, uh, the passcode puzzles are really good, and it hides things really well. But some things, it does some things that I just don't agree with at all. Like, I don't, I, I don't agree with this one here at all. Like, what would ever make you think glitching out a guy in one room will make him follow you into the other room? It looks like there's something up there. Okay, no, I want to stay on that weapon, but I seem to remember this place being symmetrical, but... Maybe it wasn't perfectly symmetrical, because I don't know what would be here. Never mind.
You know, I think that was the one. Yeah, it looked like I could go in here. I think that was the one that actually gave you... Yeah. That Dinger Gizbar is the one passcode that we put in the one time. Okay, well, we're doing okay. Just gotta go someplace new. I don't trust this area. Okay, I guess I trust it now. And we're getting somewhere horrible. Jeez! This guy's not fudging around. I'm gonna die. Dude, I can shoot the health with this thing. Okay, thank goodness. I was hoping one of these would be a save room. I still don't know entirely what's ahead of me. But there's more of these guys, so that's cool. I wonder if this does more damage. Of course, when they're not, like, plowing through me constantly. Okay, looks like if I can get him sideways, it's still better. I don't know, I'm just... I, I feel like there's a lot of crap hidden in this final area I'm positive of. And so, like, I'm just... I don't know, I'm paranoid now. Like, everything. Is that a thing? Is that a thing? After as much time as I spent looking for crap, I like, I'm... I'm more aware of things being hidden now. Just like everything. Is that a thing? How about over here? Are there these a thing? Oh dear, was that- the door was red! That door wasn't red on the outside! You know, that's a good idea. Let's just keep going. I'll be back. Later, dude. I don't entirely understand what that guy is doing. If you call still read this? Okay, that sounds like it was written by Athetos, which means he's still... sentient, I guess would be the word.
Is it just me or does it feel like when you hit him with this they run? Ooh, that looks like a switch. What's the point of this little room now? Oh. I'm gonna need you to go that way. Yeah, I think I was right. I wasn't entirely sure how this guy worked, but I I was indeed correct. In that he does what you do. Okay. I don't know, let's get you back down. Wait, this is just taking me back to the save room. Ooh. I don't know, I can shoot a lot of them. Oh, I still think I prefer this one. And I did just get an achievement for, in fact, I've been getting a lot of them for 100% completion of things. Like, I got a 100% weapons, I know I got a 100% health, um, I think I got a 100% power. Um, this is all the weapons, though, but you'll notice there are four extra slots. On one hand, I feel like it's just balanced weird and it'll never be filled up completely, but I also opted not to go searching blindly for all of the... bonus, not bonus, like the secret areas. And the reason I opted not to do that is I looked... I, I didn't so much look into it, but I just saw, like, what other people said about finding them, and that they could search far more in-depth than I would have for these things, and still only find, like, two throughout the entire game. And even then, not find, like, the primo prize out of any of the ones they do find. The primo prize, by the way, is there are at least three weapons that you can potentially get in those, in the secret areas. And there's honestly no guarantee that you'll get even one of them in a run. I was kind of under the assumption that you would at least, you would, one of the ones would always contain the one weapon. But no, there's more than one weapon, and you're not guaranteed to get it. So that's cool. And that's why I opted not to do that, because I could search blindly, not find anything else at all, and potentially not even have the capacity to find anything else at all. Yeah, I swear, like, this repels them or something. Okay, so, well, I could kill that guy. I don't know, I want to find out what happens if I kill him, but... I'll come back. Can I go through that? What the crap are you?! That's some pretty rockin' about-to-fight-a-guy music. I'm 
I'm just gonna get hit by these guys. Like, I'm not sure. You can't really deal with them otherwise. Pretty obviously something over here. Hmm. Dang it. And that right there was 100% items and 100% logs. So I'm quite sure... That's everything. And we are right near something horrible. Yep. Quite sure that's the final boss door. That I'll be saving for next time. So... Until then, everyone! Oh yeah, that is actually it. We got the yellow dot. That is every item in the game. The only item that doesn't show up as a yellow dot is um, the one that you get from the... the one health node that you get from killing the one dude. Like, from corrupting the one dude. So yeah, we've effectively 100% of the game. All that's left is... Athatos himself. I'm not actually sure if I... I'm not sure what happens if I go back and kill that one guy. Maybe I'll find out. Until next time, everyone.